Discrimination over sexual orientation is the focus of this next story. Two Montreal men who just want to tie the knot and make it official are wrapped up in a battle with a local photographer who has refused to take pictures at their wedding. He says it conflicts with his faith, but there are concerns the refusal conflicts with the law. CTV's Amanda Klein has the story. Mike and Victor are getting married in November and thought they found the perfect photographer. I texted him and I, and I was super excited. I'm like, look, we found a good photographer. I sent him the quote. He agreed with it. So we were trying to set up a meeting. When the photographer at Premier Productions asked for details about the bride. I mentioned that there's only going to be one house since we already live with each other. And I said, there's no bride, we're two guys. The photographer responded in an email saying, I regret that I cannot take this wedding because it is at odds with my personal religious beliefs. Wait, did that just happen? And I was with my friend and she's like, are we reading this right? So obviously I was a little shocked to, to hear that. And this kind of thing had never happened to me before. Phone Yemi is the executive director at the Center for Research Action on Race Relations. He says not only is the photographer's response ridiculous, it's illegal. You cannot discriminate against people on the basis of sexual orientation, especially in this case in the provision of uh, commercial business services available to the public. So that's on top of the correct charter of human rights and freedoms. CTV has tried contacting Premier Productions on more than one occasion, but the company has yet to return our phone calls. Following the event, Mike's colleagues took to Facebook, generating messages of support for Mike and Victor and dozens of photographer recommendations. I built a list just from everything last night. I have like 29 photographers to go through now, so it brought some good in it. But despite the positive response, Nyemi encourages the couple to take legal action. We have to stop this kind of use of religion as a, you know, a proxy to promote uh, anti-gay bias. Meantime, Mike hopes Premier Productions will change their policy so the discrimination stops. Amanda Klein, CTV News.